Greetings, today we're going to talk about Meghan. It was recently reported online that Meghan Markle has been offered the lead role in the sequel to the 1992 cult movie, with Kevin Costner and Whitney Houston, the bodyguard. Honestly, I thought it seemed like it couldn't happen. And it turns out I wasn't the only one who thought that. Experts suggest that this is just a throw-in from the Duchess of Sussex and her new team representatives of Hollywood talent agency William Morris Endeavour, the purpose of which is to divert attention from the high-profile failure of Meghan and Harry's deal with Spotify. It should be noted that this information first appeared on the pages of the Australian edition of New Idea, which publishes not always verified information. At the same time much earlier it was reported that Kevin Costner in the mid-90s of last century considered the option of filming the continuation of The Bodyguard with Princess Diana in the title role. Kevin Costner himself first talked about this project in 2012, saying that, according to the script of the sequel, his hero was supposed to protect Princess Diana from stalkers and paparazzi, and then their cooperation would develop into a romantic relationship. The actors said that he, Diana and the producers were passionate about the idea, and the first draft of the script was ready the day before the Princess of Wales died in a car crash on August 31, 1997. Costner recalled Diana asking during negotiations for her involvement in the project if they would have to kiss on screen. Later in 2019, Kevin Costner added that Sarah Ferguson played an important role in the project and negotiations with Diane. He told People magazine that it was Fergie who established the dialogue between him and Diane. I'll be honest, I don't believe that information either. I'll also add that for Meghan Markle, who is positioning herself as the reincarnation of Princess Diana, the throw-in that she would now play a role in the Bodyguard sequel was nothing fantastic. But royal commentators have called the news laughable and are convinced it's just a PR stunt. What do you think? Hit the comments.